Hi peeps. So this project is inspired by an art installation that used to be at the New Britain Museum of Art in Connecticut and I turned it into um, into a lesson. So let me show you the supplies. Oh, and I'll show you a picture of the installation. So that installation is all made from plastic cups dipped in different colors of paint and stacked up um, on, in different ways and I just love this. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Here are the supplies. So some sticks, if you don't have sticks or access to them, wooden grill skewers would work or just a piece of paper. Um, coffee filters, markers, some glue, a squirt bottle with just water in it and some cups that you're not going to mind if marker uh, like well, marker water business gets all in them. And you're going to want to cover your surface that you're working on too. So a placemat or a tablecloth uh, or, you know, scrap paper or something. Okay, this is a little hard to do and hold my phone at the same time, but you're just going to color, flatten out your coffee filter, and you're just going to color around the outside. Don't worry about the interior. Okay, so I made a little design around the border of my coffee filter. It does not need to be precise, scribbly, um, you know, and quick is completely fine and will work. And I left this open. You can color it, but you don't need to. Okay, next step. Take your coffee filter, place it into your cup, and with your squirt bottle, you're going to spray it with water. So what's happening, if you can see, is the ink is going to run down the coffee filter. And this is why you don't need to worry about the center. So make as many of these as... Sorry, it got cut off. So make as many of these as you like. Here are some that I prepped yesterday so you can see see how the ink kind of runs down the sides um, so once you've got a bunch made and they're in their cups sprayed with water you're gonna need to let them dry so this is what the sticks are for you're basically making like a little fake bouquet of flowers and so you're gonna glue your coffee filters to the sticks and hot glue definitely works better, but you can use Elmer's if you don't have a hot glue gun. So look how cute this is. If you don't have sticks, though, what you can do is just on a piece of paper, maybe draw some stalks, and then you can glue these right to the piece of paper. So I cut out some leaves. I don't have any green paper, so I just did some scribbles and then cut them out in a leaf shape. And here is your little flower. And you can make as many of these as you want. So enjoy working on those. And I know it's a lot of steps and definitely needs um, some adult hands in there, but pretty much the coloring of the coffee filters is like an all level thing and the kids do get get into it and spraying the coffee filters in the cups and like watching the ink run is cool. So I know this is seems super different than that installation, but I want to show you what I did with this in my old classroom. So I had panels filled with these colorful coffee filters going all the way up um, part of the wall in my classroom from floor to ceiling and I had pre-k through sixth grade all make some so it was really cool and all of the kids worked on it and it was super colorful um, so you also could just completely cover a piece of paper with these and put it up on your wall there's a lot of different things you can do enjoy guys